So Ohio State, the fourth best odds, according to Bovada, of making the college football playoff BMAC. Big Ten doesn't get much love in football in terms of recruiting. Uh, but Ohio State coach Urban Meyer defended his conference today at Big Ten Media Day. I thought recruiting, I was shocked at the disrespect the Big Ten had in 2012. Um, I don't feel that at all anymore. I feel a, a, a great amount of respect nationally about the Big Ten. You sit and look at the national recruiting rankings and you see the Big Ten everywhere, all over the place. And that's the way it should be. So here's how the Big Ten and the SEC, the standard bears in college football, stacked up in the 2017 classes. Numbers may not show it here, but has the Big Ten started to close the gap? Yeah. We should point out, according to 24-7, now Ohio State for 18 yeah. has the number one class right now, but that's always changing. Have they closed the gap? No, sir, Ray. They have not closed the gap, and here's why. You look at the quantity within the SEC. Everybody can always throw Alabama is one of the best recruiting schools in the nation. Numbers don't lie. That will back Alabama mm -hmm. in that argument. But outside of Alabama, you have the LSU, you have the Georgia, you have the Florida, you have Tennessee, you have A&M, you have Auburn. When you have so many blue blood football programs located in the South, where football is 24-7, they already have the upper hand. When you transition to the Big Ten, Yes, we know about Ohio State, their ability to re recruit nationally. Michigan can say, can say the same. Penn State, that's it. You have only three schools that you can literally make an argument that they can go anywhere in the country and get a five-star here or there. In the SEC, you have so many different teams. Minnesota, they're not on that national level. Right. Michigan State, they're not on that national level. Maryland, Illinois. Indiana, Nebraska used to be, but they're still not a consistent national recruiting juggernaut. So that's where you lose the battle. We know Ohio State can recruit with the best. Michigan can also. Penn State, they're, they're there. But when you have so many schools in the SEC, I just, I just named five, six schools, right? Yeah. I mean, with ease that we all would agree with. Can they close the gap? How can they do it? Or is it a sense that in the Big Ten, because they've won national titles, we've seen Ohio State most recently, is it a case of just making and developing the best players that they are able to They get? have to do what Michigan State has been doing for such a long time. Outside of the Blue Blood universities that I mentioned, recruiting three, four-star guys and developing them. Mm -hmm. Because I don't see Indiana closing the gap, being a more national contender when it comes to recruiting. I don't see Maryland. You know, I don't see Minnesota. I don't see, you know, the Illinois of the world. Mm -hmm. They're not able to do that because they're so far behind. And you look at what's going on with the satellite camps, with 707 being so relevant in college football and recruiting on the high school level. When you compare an Illinois to the likes of, a, mm, let's throw out Mississippi State. Sure. Let's, yeah. you know, throw out a school like that. I mean, in the South, Mississippi State has more prestige than an Illinois yeah. when it comes to recruiting in the South. And we all know the South is considered the hotbed of recruiting when it comes to talented, outstanding players. A lot of people and a lot of interest in the SEC.